The internet is an endless source of information and data. Still, in some cases, we come across some occurrences like cyber attacks, hacking, or sentry, which may affect our time on the web. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Simply Learn channel. Today, we will discuss a topic that secretly records our input data, that is known as keyloggers. But before we begin, if you like watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. To understand the key logging problem better, let's take a look at an example. This is June. She works in a business firm where she manages the company's data regularly. This is Jacob from the information department who is here to inform her about some of the security protocols. During the briefing, she informed him about some of the problems her system was facing with, which included slow reaction speed and unusual internet activity. As Jacob heard about the problems with the system, he thinks of the possibility what could be the reason behind these problems the system was facing with. The conclusion that he came across was the key logging issue. Unknown to the problem her system was facing with, she asked him about some of the details regarding it. For today's topic, we learn what exactly key loggers are and how they affect our system, what are the harmful effects that keylogging can bring into the system. For today's agenda, we learn what exactly the keylogging program is. Then we'll see how the system gets infected, what are different methods of the keylogging issue enter into the system. Then we'll take a look at different types of methods, how to detect the keylogging issue into the system. Then we'll take a look at different types of keyloggers that are present and how they affect differently into the system. Then we'll take a look how the hackers use the recorded data that has been sent by the keylogging program. And then we'll take a look at a case where the mobile devices get affected with the keylogging issue. And lastly, we'll take a look what are different prevention methods available to prevent the system from getting infected by the key logging issue? To begin with, we learn what exactly the key logging program is. As the name suggests, Keylogger is a malicious program or a tool that is designed to record keystrokes that are typed during data input and record them into a log file. Then the same program secretly sends these log files to its origin where they can be used for malicious acts by the hacker. Now that we know what the keylogging program is, let's take a look how they enter into the system. Searching for a suitable driver for a system can often lead to the installation of the keylogging program into the system. If we often visit suspicious sites and uncertified software are installed into a system, then if we use unknown links, or visiting unknown websites which come through unknown addresses can also be a reason behind the key logging issue entering into the system. And lastly, there are often cases where different pop-ups that we often see on social sites or different media sites can lead to the installation of key logging program into our system. Now that we know how the problem gets into the system, let's take a look how to identify whether the system is infected by the key logging issue. The key logging issue can be identified if there are often cases when a keyboard lags behind the system. The data that we enter sometimes is stuck in between when we type through the input. Then there are cases when the system freeze occurs unknowingly to what exactly could be the reason behind them and also there are delayed reaction time for different applications that run on the system and lastly there are different cases when we often see suspicious internet activity on the system that we don't know about this could lead to the identification of a problem into the system now we'll take a look at different types of key loggers that are present on the net which can harm our system differently. The first problem that key loggers arouse is API based. The most common key logging case which uses APIs to keep a log of the type data and share it to its origin for malicious purposes. Each time we press a key, the key logger intercepts the signal 
and logs it. Then we have form grabbing based key loggers as the name suggests. They are a based key loggers that store the form data. That is, if we often use web forms or different kinds of forms to enter different data, they can be recorded into the system by the program and send it to its origin. Then we have kernel based key loggers. These key loggers are installed deeply into the operating system where they can hide from different antivirus if not checked properly and they record the data that we type on the keyboard and send it to its origin. And lastly, we have hardware key loggers. These key loggers are present directly into the hardware. That is, they are embedded into system where they record the data that we type on the keyboard. Now, let's take a look how hackers differentiate different type of recorded data and exploit them. When hackers receive information about the target, they might use it to blackmail the target, which may affect the personal life of the target and also blackmail them for different money related issues. Then, in case of company data that is recorded by the key logging program can also affect the economic value of the company in the market, which may lead to the downfall of the company. Also, in some cases, the key logging program can also log data about military secrets, which may include nuclear codes or security protocols which are necessary to maintain the security of a country. Now, let's take a look whether mobile devices get infected with the key logging issue or not. In the case of hand devices, infection of keyloggers are low in comparison to the computer systems as they use on-screen keyboard or virtual keyboard. But in some cases, we often see different kinds of malicious programs getting installed into the hand device if we often visit different uncertified websites or illegal websites or torrent sites. And also, the device that is infected with the keylogging issue or different kind of malicious program can often lead to the exploitation of data that includes photos, emails or important files by the hacker or the cyber criminal that install the particular malicious program into the system. Now, to prevent a system from getting infected by the keylogging program, let's take a look at different points. The first point includes using of different antivirus softwares or tools which can prevent the entering of malicious program into the system. Then, keeping system security protocols regularly updated is also a good habit. And lastly, using virtual keyboard to input our sensitive data which may include bank details, login details or different passwords related to different websites. Now that we have some understanding about the topic of key loggers, Let's take a look at the demo to further increase the knowledge about the topic. For the first step, we have to download some of the important libraries that are required into the system, which is this library. Now we'll run it. The system says the library is already installed into the system. Now, let's take a look what exactly modules are required from the particular library. From this library, we'll import the keyboard module, which will help us to record the data that we type on the keyboard. Now, from the same, we'll also import key module and the listener module and also the logging module which will help us to record the data into a log file. For the next part, we'll write a piece of code that will allow us to save the data that is recorded by the program into a text file that will be named as key underscore log text file along with the date and time stamp. Let's take a look. Now, we'll provide it with the file name that will be given as keylog.txt. 
txt file and also show the part where the format of the data is recorded put the brackets over here to contain the file name now we will write the format in which the data will be recorded into the log file which will be given as the format would be the message and the timestamp which would be given as along with the timestamp given as percentage and ending it with the bracket now for the next step we'll design two of the functions that will be used into the program that will be termed as while press function and while release function let's take a look while press function would be a function that will come into play when the keyboard key has been pressed is pressed and this would go for the format that we designed in the above line and logging the press key info a string file to be recorded into the log file now now we'll design a function that is while release that will come into play when the escape key has been pressed that is the program will terminate itself and the program will stop from running and in the end we require for the functioning of the program to loop these functions that is while press and while release to continue its cycle that will be going for while press and on release will contain while release function as listener and now this part would join the different threads and store them into the log file now that we have completed the code for the program let's run it we have to wait for a moment so the program runs it now to verify the program let's open notepad And on the notepad, we'll write hello world, which will be the basic whether the program is working or not. Let's take a look. And we'll go for the main page on Jupyter Notebook and refresh the page. Go to the bottom. Over here, we see the key log text. That is a text file that we created. Let's open it. And over here, we have the data that is created. As we started with, note, then this is the hello world part that we created just now, which shows that the program we created is working properly.
Now that we have reached the end of the module, let's take a look at the summary. Firstly, we learn what exactly keyloggers are. Then we understood what different modes are present, how the system get infected with the keylogging problem. Then we learned how to detect the problem into our system. Then we learned what different types of keyloggers are present on the net. We also understood how hackers use the recorded data from the program. And we also learned whether mobile devices get infected with the keylogging problem or not. And lastly, we understood what different points can be taken to prevent the entering of the keylogging problem into the system. If you have any query regarding the topic of keyloggers, feel free to ask them on the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.